hi guys for another tutorial today we will see how to create a bend order table in sheet metal creo okay uh, for that what we need to do is first we need to create a sheet metal okay sheet metal part i'll go here and click this and i have already created a sheet metal part as 111-001 uh, okay i'll open that part okay then i'll go here i'll go to options then model display i'll say it as isometric say open apply okay okay then now after this we have to also create one drawing i've already created a drawing okay it is the triple one dash zero zero one okay you can create it with the uh, size as d okay then what we will do is first we will create a base base plate okay base uh, base part for sheet metal and uh, we will pick uh, the dimensions as 300 by 150 okay 300 then 150 say okay then we will pick the size as 5u okay now what we will do is we will create various bands here first we will click this pick this and uh, we will pick this as 50 and bend angle as let's say 70 ok bend angle as 70 then this is done and we will go pick this one ok then what we will do is we will click this as 60 and this as let's say 90 okay then we will use flange okay then what we'll do is we'll move it a little bit inside both these parts okay we'll use this as 60 okay go to relief bend relief we'll say it as obron say okay pause then we'll click as 60 and we'll change this angle to 50 okay now our sheet metal part is ready guys okay uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, do the same thing here also edit definition relief then obron okay one minute what happened um, should be relief then okay we'll move it inside we'll move this also a little bit inside then we'll pick this as obron then we'll say yes done now comes the most important part of this okay what what is that go here and say bend order when you say that the now what happens is you have to pick the bends as per the required sequence because whatever bend sequence you pick here that will be recorded in your bend table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick this then i'll pick this then i'll pick this and i'll pick this okay so this is my bend order table is ready save it that's not it okay now once this is done what we need to do is we need to create flat patterns see in creo 3 the flat pattern can be created very easily flat pattern uh, uh, you don't need to go and create family table which we used to do in creo 2 and creo 1 okay all that you need to do is go and click here we have flat pattern is ready okay save this then come here and create create instance okay here this is this is the ex most important part here what happens is the creo itself does the job of creating a family table instance here you can type your own name i am going to accept the default and then say create okay then you will have to suppress this done okay once this is done guys then let's go to our drawing table okay now what we need to do is go here drawing add model and we have to add both models generic model as well as flat matter model okay 
then done once it is done what we will do we'll add the generic model uh, what we'll do is cancel this we'll pick it as generic click here place it say ok ok now it is locked now keep it here ok hide save status then drawing go here pick flat pattern click click here your flat pattern is ready top view apply ok this is done now most important thing is to how to get our bend table order on the drawing sheet ok so this is now 1 is to 1 I will make it as 1 it becomes big what we need to do is go to annotations click here click here and pick our axis ok so our bend axis are all available here now where the bend is taking place go back to annotations pick on nodes click here apply all say apply ok see now here you will see you will clearly see that whatever in whatever sequence we had created the bend order first pick this then this 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 that same sequence will be generated here and we have our bend 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 order table okay A direction of bend bend angle inside radius and bend length okay so this is our 60 degrees which is on top here which is going out outside okay here this means this is going outside here it's coming inside 70 degrees okay 70 degrees and 50 degrees is here then 90 degrees is here okay so this is our auto generated bend order table okay uh, this is what we will we, we were about to learn in this tutorial okay and one most important thing that you need to remember is in though we have four bends over here here we get to know that every all the bends are numbered as bend one bend one bend one bend one okay if you don't we don't want this to happen so we can just delete this off okay or you can simply say erase okay so just erase this off and what you can do is you can manually write down notes by sequencing we can clearly tell that this is a first bend this is second bend this is third bend okay and this is fourth bend you can write down as notes over here because that will take away the confusion and however angles are mentioned over here so that will help you that uh, 60 50 70 90 which is which bend angle will easily come to know okay and after this let's say you want ordinates dimensions for this everything okay so what you need to do is go here click on auto ordinate okay it will say pick one surface pick this entire surface click ok then pick this as base surface okay your ordinate is ready okay your all the ordinates all the ordinate dimensions as this as the base is done pick one more and then pick this another ordinate dimensions are also ready over here okay so by this what happens is you are creating what happens uh, first thing you are creating a bend order table okay you are also creating flat pattern without creating family table okay it aut automatically the creo itself does the job this is an advantage in, in creo 3 okay in creo 2 you will not get this option okay so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you got to learn something new again thank you guys thank you very much